Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of StarMade. Today's episode is gonna be a little bit more dedicated towards decorating the outside of the ship. I also want to have a bunch of entrances lined out. And last but not least, I want to rebuild the vents we had at some point right here. I do have a new idea how I actually want to do that, and I think it's actually quite an interesting one. However, first things first, I bought myself a few of those ice crystals, and I think what I want to do is outline the top right here. So we're just gonna take the first row of gray stuff and we are gonna replace it with ice crystals. Of course, that's gonna be a little bit agonizing. Do I have the symmetry plane enabled? Yes, I do. So fortunately, we only have to do this once. The vents are gonna be a little bit more complex because we have to do them twice, since it's gonna be on a rail, actually. I do have another rail idea. So that's gonna be fun. Oh, the game crashed. <laughs> be right back. Right guys, since I already made the intro, I figured I would finish this first part right here off camera because obviously that wasn't too exciting to watch. However, now we are gonna tend to the second part of the video and I wanna dedicate this to the biggest project we want to take on in today's episode, which is the rotating vents. Now by rotating, I mean that if we are not in combat mode, I want the vent caps to be on the top of this wing and kind of serve as a decorative part. And as soon as we get into combat, I want the vents to turn over and kind of cover up this lava in a nifty way. No idea how we are gonna achieve that. However, let's have a look in here. Yeah, this is our observatory room. And right here, this is actually where I want to remove the lava. I want this to be a glass wall instead, actually. So we're just gonna get rid of all of that. I'm also actually thinking about removing these pillars. I don't think they are necessary and they do bother me slightly. Though I do want to have a little bit of an outline before we go into the windows. And how can we do this on the top? That's not good. We might want to do something like this. So we can still see the crystals, but we have it all covered up with this black outline. Right, and now comes the glass and then we'll have to see how this looks like. I think it's for each, yeah, so we can do it very quickly. Yeah, there we go, how about that? I think that actually looks rather nifty. I'm not yet sure if I'm gonna keep the lava as it is right here. I might have to change a few things around here as well. However, so far so good, we do have the windows of the observatory rooms. Now let's get to the vents, and for that I need a few parts. So let me do some shopping and I'll be right back. Right, so I do not know where we are going with this, but what I've already done is placed one of these rotational thingies. And I would say it's time to go into the build mode of this core, and we want to attach one of these rail dockers. Now let's see, I would prefer this to be upright, so where is it? Yeah, this is facing forward, so it would probably be best to have the module here. Yeah, somewhat like that, that should be doing the trick. We're gonna go to the rail docker and we're gonna try to dock right here. Okay, right, so we are not really facing upwards. I need to change that. So maybe I'm gonna install like a temporary system right here. We're gonna have a button with the other rail type. I think that's the other one, yeah. And we're gonna have a button with the first rail type. I think that is about right. Now we can just hook it up to this bad boy and also this block right here. And now if I use that, we should be turning into an upright position. Beautiful. So that is going to be my default position. And the first thing I want to do is kind of cover up all of this. So let's see what we can do and still be successful. I have to go into this ship core and start building. Now it would be cool to do this with some kind of different blocks. I think I'm going to go with advanced armor for this one, since it does serve kind of a protective functionality. And I guess what we can do is go down right here. We cannot place a block right here, otherwise it will not turn around anymore. And I want to start this contraption with a white outline. And of course we want to have this as close as possible to the lava. So if I think about it, maybe we can even have it like adjacent to it. Do you think this will still work? Oh yeah, that would be so cool, look at that. But I have to figure out first if that would still work. If we do it really, really, you know, snatched in there. It might not work, let's check it out. We're gonna turn it around. Oh, holy cow, it actually does work. Look at that, oh yeah. And what does happen, okay. This is the problem. I see, we would be going up here and that is not really what I wanted. So if I wanted to do that, I would even have to rotate it yet in another direction. Oh guys, I'm not sure if it is possible the way I want to do it. I kind of want to avoid using another axle, otherwise it's gonna be really, really painful to build. 
However, let's continue a little bit with the build, just so that we get a better idea what actually happens right here. If it does look ugly, we might really have to go with a second rotation point. And it's really complicated. For some reason, I cannot imagine it in my head, what I have to do in order to get this right. I might have to do some field testing with paper and stuff. Good old paper. Oh yeah. Anyways, we're gonna go down here. This is gonna be our outline. And I think this is what will look rather nice, actually. Right, very well. I have finished the framing right here. Let's see if it still works. I'm kind of worried that I screwed it up now. Look at that. It actually did work. Okay, so this will come across here and go there. Now, what do we think of that? It's a good question. I think we could maybe make something functional out of it. You know, we could, for instance, make a little gun out of that. We can fill everything up that is beneath here all the way up to the wing. And when it turns around, the guns will be armed, kind of. I mean, right? That could be an idea. It is an idea. Right, I decided for the colors I want to go with. And that is brown advanced armor, blue and black one. Question is, how do we want to do it? Do we want to have like stripes? Do we want to have circles? What will actually look good? Not entirely sure how I want to do it, but we're just gonna start with a little bit of brown because I do like brown. Not in all cases, but for instance, I do like brown leather. I do like brown sheep and that's probably about it. Here we're gonna continue with blue. Blue is my favorite color of all. I love blue curtains, blue sheep, and that is about it. Then of course black goes with everything. You can never go wrong with black, except for sheep. I don't like black sheep. I think I'm gonna fill this out with black as well. Then we're gonna go with blue and brown again. And the last little one right here we're gonna do with white. And then I guess we're gonna check out how we can extend this to actually have a weapons functionality or maybe some other functionality. This was actually not planned. In my head, this kind of went also down. So we'll really have to think about how to integrate this nicely with the mothership. But I think if we also add a bunch of turrets, maybe on the back here and other stuff is sticking out of the wing, it will not look as weird. And then of course we will be able to rotate this backwards. No, that was the wrong direction. There we go. And we're gonna put this right into here. Yeah, look at that. That's gonna be lovely. Anyways, let me just finish some of that up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, let me introduce you to the next phase of the project. As you can see right now, the thingy-majingy is on the top of the wing and it kind of fits in a compartment that I have built just for this purpose. As you can see, it's not just yet finished. But just to get a better idea what this is all about, let's actually use this button here. No, that's the wrong one. Whenever I have a 50% chance, I'm always going for the wrong one. Anyways, you can see we have some kind of a compartment here which is still empty. We could, for instance, fill it up with missiles. I actually think that is a good idea. However, of course, we can swing this all the way around and it will fit nicely on top of our kind of vent thingy-majingy. So right now, what we could either do is have our weapon systems here on top of the wing or we could also have it on top of the moving platform. Though looking at it design-wise, I think it might make more sense to actually fill this out, just so that it makes a little bit more sense once we have rotated this around. Okay, I think to begin with, I want to install a bunch of missiles. So another thing I was thinking about is actually to break everything down and lift it up one more block so that we could have a bunch of repair beams facing downwards in this position. And as soon as we have rotated it around, they would actually face forwards, right? Let's actually see. Yeah, look at that. They would face forwards and this way we could use the repair beams to repair something that is in front of us. And when we have it in this position, then it could do something else like missiles, as I said. So maybe let's go ahead and install a missile computer. And of course, I'm going to do this at the same spot where we have our other stuff. Oh geez, orientation, where is my stuff? There we go, here we have our cannons, salvage cannons. So we're gonna add the missile computer to the mix. Yeah, we might want to secure this up a little bit. As established in the previous episode, it's not really safe to have my systems all here. But you know, it's all gonna be good. So this one is already selected, which means we could add the missile tubes. 
and we would want to do that right here. So let's start by making a bunch of tubes. I don't want the missiles to be too strong. Well, I do want them to be strong, but they don't have to be the most powerful stuff. It's more supposed to be like a swarm of missiles. And of course, we might want to add some explosive modules and other things. Yeah, this is kind of perfect. I think I'm just gonna fill this up and in the end we can check out how it turns out, how it actually looks. Though we could do that already now, let's just open it up quickly. We have to do some covering up here. I think it would be nice if we kind of made a frame right here as well. Just to outline the stuff a little bit more properly. Hmm, decisions over decisions. Yeah, let me think about this concept a little bit more and once I do know what to do, I'll be right back. Alright, so far so good. What I did is fill this entire thing up with missile tubes. The longest tubes are about 33 blocks in length. And I encased it with a nice beautiful white encasement. And of course this will all kind of flow into the wing. Right here you can see I've already done it. And right here I also want to round off this corner. So there are still going to be a few design changes. However, as I say, functionality always first. And after that we're going to go for the look. So let's see if we can still close that. Oh yeah, thankfully we can. Right, so the next thing I want to do is replace a bunch of those guys with Astro Tech Beams. The cool thing about this is going to be that we can actually repair the missile system all the time. I'm not sure if the Astro Tech Beams are actually gonna work through the blocks. Probably they don't. But you know, we can also repair upwards. So we could, for instance, park a ship on top of this platform and then it would kind of repair upwards. And in order to achieve that, of course, we want to use an Astro Tech Beam. And I want to use that on this contraption. It should look forward in this position, something like that. And then I'm not really sure how I want to do it, to be honest. I mean, we want to be as efficient as possible, so we might want to replace every other block. I wonder, can I do this with the replace mode? Right, so replace with active slot. Man, I always forget how this works. I just tend to forget, I don't know why. And I have the feeling it might be a little bit easier with the replace thingy. Anyways, I've come too far to give up right now, so we're just gonna do it the agonizing way. Yeah, something like that. And then we would also need an activation module in order to activate it, don't we? I think we do. Or maybe even a button. We might need a clock, just like with the other one. Let's try it with a button first. We're gonna hook up this button to this bad boy and then use it. Yeah, okay, that seems to be working. And how far do they reach? I'm gonna flip this around just once and use this button again. And let's check. Oh yeah, they reach really, really far. So that is good. Yeah. I think that's how we're gonna do it. Give me a few minutes in order to finish the rest of that and then we are gonna wrap up the episode together. There we go guys, it is kind of finished at least functionality wise. As you can see I really like that we still have this pattern in it even though I replaced every other block. What we can do now of course is use the techno beam as is and it should repair a whole bunch of things. But of course we can also switch this thing around once and use it in in this position in order to repair something backwards. Maybe there is going to be a little turret that is going to be repaired this way. We can also kind of use it as a shield. However, we turn it around once more just like that or maybe like that we can repair upwards as before and this way of course we can repair forwards. Let me see that. There we go. Oh yeah. Now the only thing we need on that is a ship remote and maybe a wireless module, but I don't think I really want to do that in today's episode. There's already so much work behind this. I would rather actually fill this gap here up with something else. I'm not sure yet what. Also you guys need to suggest me what we combine these missiles with. Explosive modules, heat seeking, I don't know all the options, but let me know and I will definitely go with the most popular. But in general, yeah, what do you think about that vent system here? I mean, if we do outline it with a little bit of white again, I removed the white because I did have some collision issues, it might look a little bit better. I didn't like it as much when these arrows, the blue and black arrows, were much more visible, but right now with the interruptions of the Astrotech beams, it does look actually rather good, I have to say. Let's try to turn it around a few times and come on, once more, there we go. And now it is folded upwards. 
And yeah, maybe we can even add some more functionality to this. So instead of having here a complete lava wall, we could have something else that is revealed once we have this thing facing upwards. I mean, there's a lot of potential behind this system, right? What do we have behind this? Yeah, we have a whole bunch of modules here. So we cannot really replace a lot with it, but we could have some kind of a system behind it, some kind of a beam, maybe a power surge beam or something like that. Also, let me know what you think about that option. But other than that, even though this episode is rather short, we have progressed a lot. We have done a lot of work, let me tell you. There are a lot of hours behind this episode, so thank you very very much for watching and also leaving your likes and feedback down below. Have a great time and hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye bye.